piss because you were out of bounds or because the ball got to you late? Like, you skied for that ball. Yeah. Like, uh, first and foremost, I just want to give all the glory to God, man. Without him, I'm nothing. Um, but that play specifically, I was just kind of mad because I just I was I was itching for the end zone, man. And um, you know, I just I tried my best. I wanted to to make the play, but unfortunately, they said I was out of bounds, and it was a holding penalty anyway. So it was it was coming back. So did you see any replays of it? Yeah, I did. My uh, my family was actually like right over there recording, so I had like a a good a good picture of what it looked like. Did you see how high you got? I did. Yeah. I was, I was right there. Like you were. Yeah, I wanted I wanted to make that play. So, talk about that patience, right? You're a guy that we, we all had like a lot of expectations yeah. for. Uh, you know, you kind of around the ball, you're making plays mm -hmm. or, over the middle, you know, but but not getting into the end zone. How much do you have to kind of talk to yourself and just remind yourself like you're there, you're doing your thing? Um, for me, you know, I'm not I'm not a guy that's that's just high on my stats and it being all about me. At the end of the day, I don't I don't really care how many receptions I get. I don't really care about uh. You know, my, my performance at the end of the day, I just want to, to be the best for the team, and that's that's what I'm willing to do. Ashton told us you're one of the more quiet guys on the team. You're kind of one of those silent leaders. But with Chris going down, have you had to step up and become more vocal and kind of get the wide receiver room um, to the place where you all want it to be? Um, definitely. I think, uh, you know, coming in, I, I'm not really much of a vocal guy. I'm kind of to myself. But, uh, you know, these coaches, they uh, – they gave their trust in me, and I trust them as well. So, um, you know, they wanted me to, to be more vocal, and I definitely think I'm, I'm coming along better with that, just, just helping out Lita. What, what did you take away from an SEC road game in a crowd like that? Um, I took away that we, we can be as, as good as we want to be, honestly. Uh, I feel like the, the sky's the limit. Um, and with this team going into an SEC school that was, was sold out, it's, it's, it's hard to do. It's hard, it's hard to come out with a win. And I think we, we did a lot of perseverance. So, you know, I think the sky's the limit for this team. Coach talked about Garrett and how he, that's the toughest gig in college football, especially now with social media scrutiny and all that to play right. quarterback. But what's it been like to play for him, play with him for three games now and see what he's been able to do? Uh, it's been good, you know, just seeing, uh, you know, all the – adversity that, that he has to go through throughout a game. Um, just him making checks and, and him just being a, a leader on the field is definitely great seeing. And, uh, you know, I think we just got to we just got to keep him keep him engaged when, when things are going right, you know, just keep his head high. And, um, you know, I think, like I said, the sky's the limit for this team. How about the job Aaron's doing, you know, again, kind of coming up clutch uh, with some conversions? And how have you seen his game kind of develop? Um, you know that receiver room. I, I think we're we're really deep. You know, I really, it really doesn't matter who's who's in the position to make a play. Like whoever's in that position is going to make a play. And uh, I think Aaron has been doing a great job of of stepping up, definitely in uh, in times of need, uh, big third down conversions. Um, you know, and I think we just hold hold each other to to that standard. So like I said, it really doesn't matter who's who's in that position. But I'm definitely proud of Aaron and how long he has came. Yeah, he's got a lot more range too. I mean, like. Radius than yeah. you expect from a size, yeah. right? Yeah, most definitely. He's he's a guy that you see every day. It really looked like he ain't, he ain't got no tennis in his knees, like the way he can move, you know what I'm saying? So um, I think that's the biggest thing, just just putting our playmakers in, in certain positions and allowing them to go make plays. Supposedly, you're a big favorite this week, but your teammates all say it's not about the opponent, it's about us. Right. I mean, what's your approach here this week? And you're playing in the daytime, which is somewhat unusual for Tiger Stadium. Um, I think for us, it's, it's just to start fast. Um, I think that's the biggest thing for us, come out and, and start fast and, you know, just, just play through all fourth quarters. Um, for us, uh, this early game, you know, coach, coach really emphasizes, you know, getting, out, getting off to a good start and, you know, just, just attacking each and every rep. Um, and, you know, we're, we're very excited to, to go out and, and play in front of our home crowd, and I think we're going we're gonna to do a great job this weekend. It, to come back from 17 nothing is a great storyline. Yeah. but. You don't want to do that back to back weeks. Yeah, right? what's the key to, to, get to starting fast if, if coach is stressing it? You know, um, I think just eliminating all the mental errors. I think we had a lot of uh, mental errors that, that that played a big part of us being down uh, 17 points. But uh, you know, like I said, this team is has has like there, there's no limit on, on, on what we can do, and us just 
just battling adversity with with great maturity, like being down 17 and not being phased. That that really shows like uh, you know the grit that we have and and what we can do as a team. A couple more for uh, CJ guys. Uh, BK was talking to us earlier in the week and about basically kind of the work being on the coaches to set you all up for success. Yeah. I mean, has has that messaging reached you guys about? You know, getting the right personnel out there, getting schemes that work for that personnel, and then going out and executing. Right. Uh, definitely, in the end, uh, you know, the coaches have to have to put us in position to to be successful, and all we can do is go out and play. So, um, you know, a, a lot of the things we do uh, is, is personnel-wise and, and things like that. So, you know, we our coaches hold us to a high standard, and, and we hold them to that standard as well. So, it's it's kind of a, a mutual thing that we have.